So welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thanks again for tuning in. Time for another pickup video. It's been a while since we've done one just because we've had to go through garage sale season. So sort of categorize those in a different uh, grouping. Um, so glad to be able to put these out for you again. If you're new to the channel, why not hit the subscribe button so you don't miss videos like this as well as other ones that I put out. And we've got a good one today for you. A lot of good content in terms of uh, movies, games and uh, music so let's get into it right away let's start off with um some three three new additions that i'm really happy to add to the collection uh i've got this one even though i don't have the first two or at least i don't believe i do anyway this is a capcom game for the ps2 this is clock tower three so it's uh it's nice and complete. All of these are complete, so I don't need to bust them open for you. But um, yeah, Clock Tower 3, just part of the uh, horror genre. Uh, probably appropriate since it's Halloween season, so happy to add this one, though uh, now I need to find one and two. I grab this one because it is an Atlas game, and I've always been really happy with uh, their content that they've been putting out and producing um, and, and publishing, I should say, as well. Um, but I also grabbed this one, not just because it's Atlas, but because it's a shooter. And I've been growing uh, a great appreciation for shooter games, shoot em up, shoot em ups uh, over the past year or so. This is a PS2 shmup. It's Sky Gunner. So I really have no idea. I just liked what I saw on the back in terms of uh, graphics. I'm not sure if you can help, how clearly you can see that, but again, mint manual, mint disc. So this will be an interesting to try. We'll probably do one of these in one of our first time Let's Plays since uh, honestly, I don't know anything about it. I like the white label on the side. But uh, a game I know nothing about. Just picked it up due to what I saw in the back and the fact that it's an Atlas game. This one, though, um, never played it. I've heard about it, seen videos on it, and I've been on the hunt for it for a while. Haven't been able to find. I've been able to find them, but just not complete. Or if I found one, they weren't in mint condition. Uh, so this is uh, an Atari game for the GameCube in line with uh, Sky Gunner, it's a shoot up. This is Ikaruga. So uh, this is the uh, sequel, uh, as most, most people like to call it, to Radiant Silver Gun. So We'll do this one as a treasure game too. So we'll do this one as a, as one of our first time list plays as well, because I've never played it, but I finally added it to the collection. Should have added it years ago, but finally got around to it. Okay. Uh, let's move on to some VHS. We've got four new ones here. Um, one, two, three, I think one is a double. But I'm not 100% sure because I need to recatalog my VHS collection. So first one is Hitchcock's Stranger on a Train. VHS. Um, obviously not the 51 or 79 release. This is 1991's version. Big fat label on it. But... Uh, Certainly a good Hitchcock movie, nonetheless. And I don't believe I have this one in the collection. I know I don't have this. Uh, Albert and Costello Meet the Invisible Man. I think I've seen parts of this. I'm not 100% sure. But I know I don't have it. This is the one I think I have already, and I might have the other one. I'm not sure yet either. I think I have this one sealed. Uh, this is Legend. 
a little bit of Tom Cruise action there. It's been a long, long time since I've seen this one. I can't remember the, the girl in this one. Oh, Mia Sarah, Sarah, right? That's right. The one from uh, uh, Ferris Bueller's Girlfriend. That's right. So it's been a long, long time since I've seen this one. It still has a plastic wrap around it, so I kind of like that. And this one I don't think I have, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but I love this movie as a kid, Blue Thunder. This is a time period when it was like uh, the helicopter wars on TV. It was uh, Blue Thunder and Airwolf. I think Airwolf won out, but uh, for me, I don't think they ever made an Airwolf movie. But this movie was awesome. At least as a kid, I liked it. A little bit of Roy Schneider action. Uh, moving on to, we've got some Blu-ray editions. Uh, first up is Evil Dead 2, 25th anniversary edition. Is there anything special about this one? Nope. Just the, uh, just the two discs. A nice addition, along with it being Halloween season. Um, pretty sure I don't have this one. Spider-Man Homecoming. I kind of like the artwork there on the, on the CDs or discs. So another addition to the Blu-ray collection. And then finally, again, Halloween pickup. Need to clean the, the uh, sticker on this one, but this was a blockbuster one. $15.99, uh, the original Omen movie. I think they did a remake with, um, oh shit, what's his name? Uh, Liv Schreiber, I think, did a remake on this one. So I'd have to check that one out too, but uh, always nice to have the original. Um, got some more game. Well, let's do this one. Got a couple of vinyls. Uh, they're they are doubles, but I think they they're upgrades. I'd have to double check. First one is uh, 1984 Van Halen. So this one's got a nice clean cover on it, but I got to compare it to my other one. And then this one is uh, probably going to be an upgrade too. Really nice cover on it. Uh, and one of my favorite albums, album covers, uh, Meatloaf, Bad Out of Hell. There we go. So two album editions. Uh, moving on to some games again. We got some Super Nintendo ones. Uh, War Thirty Ten. Don't ask me what it is. I don't know, but I didn't have it, so added that one. Also added Captain America and the Avengers for the SNES. And then, I like this one because I'm debating whether to keep it on or not. But this is, uh, or was a blockbuster rental at one point. Itchy and Scratchy, the game. It's got that cool little blockbuster sticker on there. I think I might keep that. Even has the, uh, the code on the back, so we'll see. I'll decide what to do with that one. So those three I definitely didn't have. Um, for the cassette collection, I grabbed Mild, Miles Davis, Kinda Blue. And there's songs on there. That one I'm not familiar with. This is uh, their greatest hits, America History. And then, again, another Greatest Hits, uh, CCR. So 
So I think the CCR might be a double, though I'm not sure if I have this version. And I don't think I have America. And then for my uh, sealed blank cassette collection, I grabbed uh, four copies of uh, the Sony UX tape. So that's for my... Uh, as my eyes roll back up into my head, my sealed cassette collection. Um, moving on to some DVDs. I've got two that are music related. First one is Pink Floyd, The Wall. So this one's kind of cool. It's got like this uh, pull out Pull out mini poster, I guess. And then Nirvana Live sold, live tonight sold out. And there's the songs on the back of that one. Um, let's move on to music again. Got uh, some CDs here. Fleetwood Mac, Tango in the Night. Um, I got, oops, shoot. This one right here. No Name Black Album. Jay-Z, the Black Album. Honestly, I'm not even a Jay-Z fan. I just sort of liked it, how it was like all dark and black there. Uh, Foster the People, Torches. Sam Roberts, We Were Born in a Flame. Imagine Dragons. Matthew Good Band. So, I don't think I have any of these. Maybe, well, I probably have Fleetwood Mac one. Uh, Kings of Leon. And then Metric. And then finally, we'll finish off with a couple more games here for the Wii. I grabbed the GT Pro Series. I don't know. I don't know why I'm still picking up Wii games. I'm not a super fan of the, uh, the system itself, but. Uh, Overlord 2. Uh, the Da Vinci Code for PS2. I don't know if it's any good. I just kind of like the front artwork on it, so that's why I grabbed it. And finally, Godfather 2 for the PS3. Mm, I don't know if the first one was on the PS3 or was that PS2? To double check. But uh, yeah, cool. So that's it, guys. Uh, that's it for this weekly or bi weekly pickup video. We'll decide how we do it. I'm only going to do them, obviously, when I've got enough to show or anything worthwhile to show. So leave me a comment below. Tell me what you thought about these pickups, uh, especially with the uh, the games, especially with the ones that I haven't played. And then, uh, yeah, love to hear what you guys think about everything. So stay tuned. We'll catch you again with another video very soon.